What is going on YouTube? It is Quick Snoopy, and today I am bringing you a guide or tutorial on how to fix your 100% hard drive usage. Uh, and with that being said, if you notice your computer is running a little slow, or you've noticed it's 100% of the hard drive usage, uh, there's a way to check that. And we'll go to your task manager. You can either hit Control Delete, or we can pull it up. Just do a search in Windows on the Windows search. And you can see right here, it's gonna have your CPU, memory, and then your different hard drives listed as well. Um, I have three different hard drives, so it's showing I have a C, D, and E drive. You may only see the C. Uh, and usually Windows is installed on the C drive. So if you notice that it's constantly at 100%, or the bar graph, the line graph, um, is constantly at like, you know, across, um, then, it means your hard drive is using a lot of use. It's not necessarily that your hard drive is full of storage, but it's using a lot of like usage, you know, like it's running slower. Um, so with that being said, I found a few solutions that could fix this because I was having a similar problem a few days ago and I found the solution as well and I wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and look for services. So if you type in services, um you're gonna see it right here perfect so on the left side you're gonna see services local and you're gonna see a bunch of different services yours may be different it just depends on what you have installed on your computer the first thing i want to mention is going to be your windows search so if we go down here it gives you a description of what everything does uh but windows search you want to right click and hit properties now you'll notice that yours is probably on automatic and mine is actually on disabled right now. It's because I already fixed this issue. Uh, and so one of the first things I did was I actually disabled uh, the startup type and then I hit uh, stop as well. So you want to disable and then you want to stop the service. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit apply. Uh, now you want to keep an eye on this. Maybe it's still at 100%, maybe it's still running pretty high for you. Uh, the other thing I did is I went over to super fetch. Uh, which is another process running in the background right here. Again, right click it, properties. Um, and it says a service type is system main, display name is super fetch. Um, I can get into a lot more detail, but for the sake of time, again, I did start up. Uh, it should be on automatic or manual, and I ended up putting mine on uh, disabled. Then I stopped the process again, and then hit apply. After you've done that, uh, there's another one that I did uh, just because some of this stuff you don't need. Uh, and the other one I did was going to be your Adobe Acrobat. Uh, I'm missing it somewhere. Oh, Adobe Acrobat Update Service. And it tells you it keeps your Adobe software up to date. Uh, I right clicked it, properties, and I put mine on disabled, stop the process, apply again. So that's what I did to fix the issue. Um, and I'm no longer at 100% CPU usage. I didn't record at the time I was fixing it because I was troubleshooting a bunch of different like services. And um, again, these they're not all gonna be the same, but the ones I mentioned should automatically be on your computer. With that being said, uh, there's a few other things we can do to possibly help your computer. You probably wanna go ahead and restart your machine um, kind of just give Windows a, a reboot, you know, to give everything a chance to like, you know, boot up again. The processes are stopped and uh, whatnot. If you still notice it's at 100% after rebooting your computer, the other thing I'd recommend is going to your file and looking, if you go down here for your uh, local disk, your C drive, we'll go ahead and right click that and hit properties. And when you hit properties, you're gonna see right here, uh, tools on the top when you see this two things should happen you should see error checking and optimize and defragment hard drive uh, so you should do error checking to make sure there are no system errors and then potentially optimize it now a quick little uh story about optimizing if you're using an ssd or a solid state drive please do not defragment the hard drive i don't even know if it'll give you an option to um it shouldn't but for whatever reason do not defragment a solid state drive. Um, if you have a regular hard drive, one of the spinning disks, uh, like the traditional hard drives, then those are okay to defragment. 
uh, simply because the solid states are going to use like your flash, like flash memory, flash drive space, um, similar to like a flash drive would, you know, like a thumb drive. Just don't, don't just, just don't defragment a solid state, please. Uh, so again, if you do the error checking and you defragment your hard drive and it's still at 100% uh, disk usage, the only other option I'd really recommend uh, would be to download some kind of malware bytes or anti-malware cleanup. Uh, I would recommend malware bytes is completely free. I personally got Kaspersky and I really love Kaspersky. It helps out a lot. Uh, and the other one I recommend is AVG. I've used a vast a little bit in the future. It's just up to you. Uh, but I would stay away from Norton. Uh, that's a different story. But hopefully this did help you. I didn't want to make the video too long. Comment below if you're still having issues and I could try and help you with it um, if I am not busy. But yeah, this should really help you out a lot. Um, and usually, like you see, mine's at 0%. It'll like fluctuate up and down. It just depends what kind of processes I have running in the background right now. Uh, but other than that, hope you guys all have a great day and see you later.